Hi everyone, in this video, pag-aaralan natin kung paano mag-solve ng material balances involving reactions sa pamamagitan ng isa sa mga tatlong methods na ating i-discuss and yung una ay ang tinatawag nating extent of reaction method. So pag sinabi natin extent of reaction method, it will utilize the equation na di-discuss ko last time when I discuss the relationships and different parameters and terminologies uh, na kinakailan nating matutunan kapag mayroong material balances involving reactions. So yung extent of reaction, I rearrange the equation to solve for the moles final. Okay? So ito yung magiging equation natin. Solving for the final moles, so magiging Ni, yan yung final moles natin, um, equals NiO, yan yung initial moles natin, plus yung extent of reaction natin times the stoichiometric coefficient. Again, for the stoichiometric coefficient, it depends whether it's a reactant or product. Kapag product, positive. Kapag reactant, negative. Halimbawa, meron tayong... Uh, reaction dito, which is basically a chlorination process. So you have your methane, okay? And it will react with chlorine gas to form methyl chloride, okay? And meron pa siyang byproduct na HCl. Now, in a reactor, nangyayari yung, yung reaction na yan. So we have here a feed with known compositions. We have 40% methane, 50% chlorine and 10% inert na nitrogen. Okay? Now, ang kailangan natin gawin dito is to solve or calculate the composition of the product stream by mole percent. Okay? So, ano daw yung composition ng ating product stream? Now, Another given here is yung ating fractional conversion. So sinasabi dito na ang fractional conversion based on the limiting reagent is 0.67. Okay, of course, we don't know yet kung ano yung limiting reagent natin. So we have to find that out. Now, before we proceed, ano yung mga product na ating may expect that can come out from the reactor? So... Let's uh, enumerate them. Okay? So, of course, yung mga main product natin, based on the reaction here, is we have your CH3Cl. Okay? And then we have uh, your HCl, the byproduct niya. Tama? Now, of course, we have to expect na may matitirang CH4, Cl2, at syempre yung nitrogen. Okay? Now, we, he, we have to solve for the amount, okay? The amount of each species na matatagpuan sa product stream, okay? So, we have five of them. And sa ngayon, unknown sila. So, we have to probably introduce some variables. So, let's say na ito ay N1 kasi we want to calculate the moles. Then this is N2. N3, N4, and finally, si nitrogen, N5, yung kanyang symbol. Okay, so moving forward, let's write the solution to this problem. Okay? Solution. Well, we have to first make a basis. So a good basis probably is to make 100 moles of the feed. Okay, bakit 100 moles of the feed? Pwede 1 mole, pwede 1,000, it's up to you. But uh, the reason why I have here 100 moles kasi based on the composition of the feed, which is known, okay, by the way, 40%, 50%, and 10% are percentages by mole ng bawat species dyan. So, given naman yung mga percentage na yan, if you have 100 moles of feed, therefore you'll have 40 moles of, so let's uh, uh, write that down. So therefore, the composition of the feed, composition of the feed will therefore become what? In terms of moles, so the ba meta is H4, yung 40% magiging 40 moles. Yung uh, chlorine magiging 50 moles. And yung nitrogen na uh, 10% magiging 10 moles kasi nagbasis na tayo ng 100 moles of feed. Okay, so the first step really here is to determine the 
after of course after setting the basis is we have to determine the limiting reactant pinakamahalaga yan you cannot solve we want to move forward with the problem without knowing the limiting reactant okay of course if you have a singular reactant doon sa yung reaction syempre yun na yung limiting reactant but here you have a two reactant process okay so as usual let's compare the stoichiometry ratio and the available ratio for i would like to use the ratio between methane and yung isang reactant which is yung chlorine gas okay so yung stoichiometry nila if you notice here okay it's just one is to one right so let's do that okay so one is to one right <clears throat> but for the availability sabi sa problem may 40 moles daw ng methane tama and 50 moles daw yung Chlorine gas. So if you simplify this, giving 0.8 over 1. So I usually have 1 as my denominator for, for both cases. Okay. So ang ibig sabihin yan, for every chlorine gas, okay, 1 mole lang kakailanganin according to the stoichiometry. Pero ang availability, hindi 1 mole. Kundi mas mababa pa doon, 0.8 lang yung kay methane. Kada 1 mole nung chlorine gas. Therefore, kulang yung ating methane. So, methane, therefore, according to this setup, is the limiting reactant. Okay? While chlorine gas is yung ating, of course, excess reactant. Okay. Now, pagtapos mong harapin yung limiting reactant, Proceed na tayo sa problem solving part. But normally kapag may mga given na relationships, parameters like conversion, yield, selectivity, normally gagamitin mo sila and they will usually lead to finding one of the unknowns. So given yung conversion, right? So si conversion, okay, which is yung symbol na ginagamit natin is F. Remember, N or moles reacted divided by moles fed okay or you can also write this one na initial moles minus final moles and of course mas marami yung initial moles kaysa sa final moles so the difference between them will be the moles reacted tama divided by the initial moles okay um ano yung given natin conversion so sabi doon sa problem ang conversion is based on the limiting reactant but the limiting reactant is methane, according to our calculation above. So therefore, yung 0.67 natin na conversion, equate natin dito sa equation natin. So moles initial is 40. Tama ba? Yun yung pinasok natin methane. Minus final moles, okay, unknown yan, divided by the initial moles. So therefore, you can calculate agad yung moles final ni methane to be, okay, if you do the calculation here, 13.2 moles. Okay, 13.2 moles of methane. And guess what? This final moles of methane is, of course, kung titignan natin yung diagram natin dito, ay nasaan siya? Equal to N3. Tama? So, ganun. Nakuha na natin yung isa sa mga unknown. Okay? So, this is one of the answers. So, that's equal to Entry. So, alam na natin ngayon yung entry. Alright. Now, wala nang ibang given na numerical parameter or whatever. Okay? So, diretso na tayo doon sa extent of reaction method. So, in other words, yung extent of reaction formula na pinakita natin kanina at nung iba pang lecture, magagamit daw yun uh, in, in solving material balances involving reactions. Okay? But not all problems of uh, sa ganitong klase ng topic ay hindi masosolve ng extent of reaction method. So therefore, we have other two methods and we will discuss them in the next lectures. But uh, let's proceed with the method and how do we really uh, do that? So extent of reaction. 
basically, the extent of reaction method is just setting up the extent of reaction equations. Okay? So, ganoon lang. Gagamitin mo lang equations or equation ng extent of reaction for all of the species. Okay? So, if you go back to our diagram, we have how many species? We have one, two, three, four, five, right? Kasama na yun yung nitrogen gas na inert. So, lahat ng yan, gagamitan natin, isosolve natin yung extent of reaction. So, pumpisa uh, natin sa CH3Cl. Okay? CH3Cl. Okay? Ano yung kanyang extent of reaction? So, balikan natin yung ano, ha, equation lang. Ha? Oh, let's, let me just do it this way. I'll, I'll uh, write the equation once again here. Um, so, we have... Okay, let me write it in red perhaps. Uh, Di ba, ang extent of reaction, ang formula niya ay final moles of that species equals initial moles plus yung extent of reaction. In this case, hindi pa siya given sa problem na to, times the coefficient. Okay, so let's do it. Let's start with, ano yung sinabi ko kanina? CH3Cl, right? Okay, so pag kay CH3Cl, so Ni muna tayo. Ni, yung final moles, right? And the final moles for CH3Cl, binigyan natin siya, okay, binigyan natin siya ng symbol. For CH3Cl, ang symbol natin ay N1. Okay, N1. So, let's use that. Yung Ni, okay, sorry, Yung Ni, yun yung N1. Okay? Equals NiO, initial. Meron ba tayong pinasok na CH3Cl? So wala, di ba? Ang feed according to the problem ay sina methane, chlorine, and nitrogen lang. So that will be zero. Okay? So zero yan. Plus, yung extent of reaction, which is an unknown, and then you multiply with the coefficient of CH3Cl. And the coefficient in the equation is 1. Okay? So, ayusin natin ng konti. N1 equals the extent. Okay? So, yun yung ating first equation. So, gawin natin ulit siya kay HCl naman. Okay? So, kay HCl, ang symbol niya ay N2. Okay? So, kung N2 yan, I'm having a hard time scrolling up here. Kung N2 yung HCl, susulat natin N2 equals, meron ka ba tayong pinasok na HCl? Wala rin. Okay? Then plus, extent of reaction according to the formula times ano yung coefficient na HCl? 1 din, di ba? So, therefore, N2 is also equal to Extent. In other words, if we know extent of reaction, malalaman natin si N1 tsaka si N2. But for now, hindi pa natin alam si extent of reaction. Okay, next, let's use CH4. Okay. So CH4, N3 yung kanyang symbol dun sa flow sheet above. No? N3 equals, ano yung pinasok mo na CH4? Meron wala. So meron. Uh, initially, meron kang pinasok na CH4 na 40 moles. Okay? Plus, extent. Now, ano yung coefficient ni H, uh, CH4 doon sa reaction? So, it will be 1, right? 1 yung kanyang coefficient. Pero gawin natin negative kasi CH4 is a product. Okay? Unlike the first two equations here, sila ay, ay mga... Sorry, the first two equations here are product, so positive. CH4 here is reactant, so negative. Okay. So, sim simplifying this a bit, it will become 40 minus extent. So, ganun pa rin. Once we know extent, uh, malalaman natin si N3. But, remember, we have solved for N3 a while ago, right? Balikan natin yan mamaya. Kumplituin lang natin yung iba pang substances here. So, N4 yung CL2 if you look at the flow chart. Equals, ilan yung pinasok mong CL2? 50. Plus, the extent 
times uh, ilan ba? Ang coefficient ni Cl2 ay 1. Negative kasi reactant siya. Okay? So simplifying also this one a little bit. Gawin lang natin siya 50 minus x10. And lastly, si nitrogen, okay, which is N5. Alam yung pinasok natin nitrogen? Meron ba? Meron, 10 moles. Right? Plus extent times what? Zero. Why? Because nitrogen is an inert at hindi siya nagpa-participate dun sa ating reaction. So therefore, N5 is equal to 10 moles of nitrogen. So meron tayo sa pang sagot. Okay, so nakuha na natin sa wakas din yung N5. So let me just check it right here. Medyo malayo. So, di ba, marunan tayong N5 sabi ko. So, yan. So, talo na lang. N1, N3, N4. Ah, sorry. N1, N2, and N4. So, uh, this equation, eh, yung N3, alam na natin yan. Nasolo natin yan as 13.2. Yan yung N3. Equals 40. Tingin lang kayo dito, ha? Minus the extent. So, masasolo natin sa wakas yung extent. The extent of reaction, therefore, is, okay, basically 40 minus 13.2. So, that will become 26.8. Okay. So, kung 26.8 yung extent of reaction natin, well, masasolo natin yung iba. So, how about N1? Balikan natin yung N1. Okay. Ayun o. Uh, let me just do it this way. Let's name the reactions, or the equations rather, as this is our equation 1. This is our equation 2. Equation 3, which we have used kanina. Equation 4 and equation 5 is actually an answer already. So this here, we have used equation 5. Now, okay, equation 4, equation 1 rather, which is this one, right? Uh, N1 is extent. So therefore, N1, so equation 1, N1 is extent. Therefore, N1 is 26.8 moles of... Ano ba yung N1 natin? Si H3Cl. Okay. Now, let's go now to the second equation. So, sabi natin ang second equation, which is ito, N2 is also equal to extent. N2 is also equal to extent. So therefore, N2 is also 26.8. Moles of what? Moles siya ni HCl. Okay. Now, kay equation 3 tapos na yun, di ba? Yun yung na uh, find out na natin na N3. So equation 4 na lang tayo. So, sa equation 4, okay, uh, N4 is equal to 50 minus the extent of reaction. So, therefore, N4 equals 50 minus 26.8. So, N4 is equal to ano, 23.2 moles of chlorine. Okay. So there, we have completed all the amounts of all the species in the product stream. So let's just probably 
um, summarize this. Actually, ang tanong dito is composition, so meaning percentage, right? So, a summarize answer here, so answer. So, the product composition, uh, the number or amount in moles, and the percentage by mole. Ito yung hinahanap natin. So, CH3CL, HCL, ito yung mga identities, right? Uh, methane, chlorine, and nitrogen. So, ang mga sagot na nakuha natin based on above equation, 26.8 kay CH3CL, 26.8 din naman doon sa HCL, 13.2, 23.2, and 10. So if you take the sum of all this, 100. Nagkataon lang to na 100. So therefore, if you take the percentage, okay, so ganun din, 26.8, 26.8, 13.2, 23.2, and 10. So this final column here, is the answer. It's the percent composition of the product stream. So for our next example, Meron tayo nitong reaction, uh, C6H12O6, so maybe this is glucose, uh, forming ethanol and carbon dioxide. Kaso nga lang may parallel reaction wherein the same compound, it forms C2H3COOH and water. So you have the reactor here and you charge the reactor with a feed which is 4,000 kilograms in weight and known yung kanyang composition. So ang kanyang composition ay C6H12O6 aside from that meron na siyang water. Okay? So it's probably a glucose solution. Now in your product ang mga species na malatagpuan mo sa product of course yung mga product ng reaction na nakasulat dito sa slide. Okay? So you have carbon dioxide and yung ating uh, C2H5OH or ethanol, kasama na rin yung C2H3COOH and water. And of course, meron tayong natitirang, well, we have here yung C6H2O6 pa rin. And known, okay, yung composition or rather yung amount ng carbon dioxide sa product, pati yung C6H2O6, 120 kilograms and 90 kilograms respectively. So, ang goal natin dito is to calculate the percent by weight of C2H5OH and C2H3COH doon sa product natin. Okay? So, essentially, we are trying to solve or look for the composition of the product. So, how do we go about this? Okay, let's first declare what our basis is. So ang basis natin na gagamitin, given naman na meron kang 4,000 kg na feed. Okay? Let's try to look for the composition of the feed or kind of summarize it here. So composition, which is C6H12O6, tsaka C water. And then, yung mass niya na given, since, okay, you have 14,000 kg of feed, tapos 12% nun ay yung C6H12O6. So, 12% of 4,000, okay, is 480. And the rest, which is 88%, so for water, no, 88% of 4,000 kg, that will be 3520 kg. Okay, now we have to convert this mass to mole. So in terms of mole, or perhaps we can use kilomole kasi nag-kilogram tayo sa mass, so gawin natin kilomole, yung ating molar composition. 
So, how do you obtain the moles from the mass? So, simply, gagamitan mo siya ng molecular weight. Okay? So, I will leave that exercise for you. Alam na alam nyo nang gagawin yan. But, uh, finally, you have here, in terms of moles, 2.67 ang makukumpit ninyo. And for the water, it's 195.56. Okay? Now, let's go to the product this time. Let's do it in the next page. So for the product, okay, um, we have carbon dioxide lang, tsaka C6H12O6 remaining. Sila yung known, okay? Their masses in kilograms are known. So we have 120 kilogram and 90 kilogram. Okay? Now, if we will need to convert it to moles, so, or kilomoles rather, use, utilizing their molecular weights, you'll get 2.73 for carbon dioxide and you'll get 0.54 C6H2O6. Okay? Now, hindi pa kompleto yung composition na to for the product because again, unknown yung ating product stream, yung iba sa mga, yung ilan rather sa mga components niya. So, let's probably introduce some variables here. So, gawin natin tong N1, N2, and N3. Okay? So, let's probably... Now, let's copy this part and then paste it here. Yon. Haha, <laughs> it worked. Okay. So, sinulat ko ulit dito yung, ano, yung reactions kasi mamaya gagamitin natin yan. Para hindi tayo masyado mag-scroll up. Anyway, wala tayong ibang given, kundi we just have to go to extent reactions. Okay. Or extent equations, rather. So, sisa natin. CO2. Okay. Nalala nyo yung extent of Reaction equation, N1, or Ni, final moles is equal to initial moles plus the extent of reaction times the coefficient. Okay? So for carbon dioxide, if you go to our flow sheet, okay, um, or if you go to our previous calculations, yung moles of CO2 after the reaction, diba, given kanina yung mass of CO2, and we have converted it to moles of CO2, which is, uh, nasan ba siya? Ayun o, 2.73. So, yan na yung final niya, 2.73 for carbon dioxide. Equals, initial of carbon dioxide we don't have. Wala kang pinasok na carbon dioxide. Okay? And then, carbon dioxide is a, is a product. So, therefore, you'll expect na positive yung kanyang coefficient. Pero ano yung coefficient ni carbon dioxide? So, nandito siya. It's 2, right? So, uh, magiging plus 2 times the extent. Pero remember, meron kang dalawang reaction. The first reaction and the second reaction which I copied here. So, dalawa therefore yung extents of reaction mo. So, since si carbon dioxide nagpa-participate lang sa, sa first reaction, so let's uh, identify it, the extent of reaction as extent 1. Okay? Now, ang maganda dito, extent 1 is the only unknown dito sa equation na yan, so makakalculate natin siya to be 1.365 kilomole. Okay. Next, let's go to yung isa pang known sa product, which is C6H1206. And 
nakuha na natin din yung moles ni C6H206. Kasi given naman yan, yung mass niya kanina. So, 0.50, right? 0.50 equals, may, meron ba tayong pinasok na C6H206? Meron, di ba? Ang pinasok natin na C6H206, okay, is, according to our table here, 2.67 kilomoles. Okay, so 2.67. Now, C6H206 is what? Reactant or product in our reaction? So, reactant siya. So, negative yung kanyang extent of reaction. Okay? So, isa yung, or one, yung kanyang stoichiometric coefficient for both reactions. So, para silang minus one. Dalawa yung extent of reaction. So, yung isa, minus extent one, tapos minus extent two. Okay? Again, the negative signs are because of the fact that C6H206 I reactant for both equations or for both reactions. Now, uh, we know E1 or extent 1 rather. Okay, so masasolve natin yung extent 2. Okay, so therefore, extent 2 is equal to 0.8. 0, 0.5. Okay. So extent 1 is this, extent 2 is this. You don't have to really affix the, the units, but it should have a unit of kilomoles. Okay. So sort of that in yung C2H5OH or yung ethanol. If you look at the flow chart kanina, ang symbol na binigyan natin sa kanya ay N1. Equals initial C2H5OH, wala, di ba? Wala tayong pinasok na ganyan. And then the sign and the coefficient of C2H5OH is 2. So, so product siya, so positive 2. So plus 2, extent 1. Walang extent 2 kasi ethanol does not participate in the second reaction. So hanggang extent 1 lang siya. So therefore, eh, given naman yung or we know already what extent 1 is. So therefore, N1 is 2.73 moles. Okay, let me probably highlight this. I think N1. N1, N2, N3 lang na right? Okay, moving on. Yung yung ating product na C2 H3 COOH Binigyan natin siya ng pangalan or variable na N2 okay equals initial is 0 and then parehas sila ni ethanol na product and 2 yung kanyang stoichiometric coefficient okay extent 2 rather extent 2 yung kanyang extent of reaction because it participates only in the second reaction, not in the first reaction. Alright? Oh, alam naman natin si extent 2. So therefore, we will be able to calculate N2 and that will be 1.61 kilomole. Okay? So this should be kilomole. Yon. And I'll highlight it. Oops, sorry. Okay, now lastly, water na lang. So for water, N3, yung ating symbol, equals Pinasok ng water, 195.65. Nasa table to kanina. In terms of moles, right? Plus, at the same time, product din siya sa reaction 2. Ang kanyang coefficient ay 2. So therefore, makukumpute natin si N3 bilang 197.65.
All right. Um, if you want to determine the selectivity of ethanol, for example, ethanol is your desired product. So you can calculate the selectivity of ethanol over the other product, which is CH3, COOH, which is dividing N1 over N2. Anyway, so let's complete the composition of yung ating product. Kasi kanina, dadala wala yung known sa kanya. Composition of the product, PDT product. Okay. Um, again, carbon dioxide, glucose. So, si carbon dioxide and glucose, known sila. So, umpisa pa lang. And yung mga unknown na nasold na natin ngayon ay si, si na ethanol. Okay. Si na the other product. I think this is acetic acid, right? Acetic acid. I ah, know it's not acetic acid because it's yung kanyang carbon atoms. So after acetic acid, yung uh, propanoic acid na siya. Anyway, water is the last component. So in terms of moles, okay, kilomoles, 2.73. Yung carbon dioxide and 0 0.5 yung glucose. Alam natin yung kanina, they're given, nagsolve natin from their masses na noon. But the unknowns na nagsolve na natin ngayon ay yung mga sumusunod. 2.73 kay ethanol, 1.61 for this other product, propanoic acid. And finally, 197.17 for water. So, ang tanong sa problem, if you want to recall right here, Oops, percent by weight yung hinahanap. So kung percent by weight ang hinahanap, kailan natin convert yung ating moles sa mass. Okay? So how? Uh, well, uh, I'll, I'll leave that to you. But uh, you just have to multiply by the molecular weight. Okay? So magiging 120.12 kilograms siya. Okay? So, kilogram siya kasi kilomoles yung ginamit sa moles natin. But it doesn't matter. Okay? Uh, kung gram yung moles, ay uh, kung, kung gram mole yung amount in moles, hindi gram yung mass. But we are after here for, uh, we are after the percent by mass. So, no problem. Okay? So, 120.12 din kapag convert, I'll just complete the rest. Water is 3,549. So, medyo water. And that's usually actually the case. no? Water is usually in excess. For not, not always, but for most reactions, especially biological reactions or bioprocesses. Okay, now. Total here is 4,000.68. And finally, you will be able to calculate the percent by weight. Okay, so just divide each masses, each mass by 4,068. So you have 3% for carbon dioxide, um, 2.25 for glucose, 3.14% for ethanol, 2.90% for propanobic acid, and 88.71 for water. Uh, tanong naman dito is yung kay ethanol and the other product. So that is the final answer.